Hi, I'm Brie McKee and here's the news you need to know in 90 seconds. Number one, new IPA research highlighted how university teaching degrees focus on activism at the expense of core literacy and numeracy skills. No wonder Australia's education standards are plummeting. Less than one semester of classes in a four-year Bachelor of Education focuses on reading, writing and maths. The system is failing teachers and students and it is in dire need of reform. Number two, to make matters worse, thousands of students over the last few weeks have taken the day off school to attend climate and pro-Palestine protests. One teenager was quoted as saying, we need to stand in solidarity with every single student and child that is affected by the oppression of colonialism. Students might be great activists, but can they read and write? Number three, Australian households are feeling the pinch. The latest news poll revealed 50% of Australians feel financially worse off than two years ago. This increases to 60% among 35 to 49 year olds. If households feel the pain, will the PM be next? Number four, hundreds of Australian journalists have signed an open letter to treat information from the democratically elected government of Israel the same as from terrorist group Hamas. But have they inadvertently done us a public service? Now we know who the activist reporters are and can see through their spin. That's it for this week. To become a Generation Liberty member or to learn more about Generation Liberty's work to advance freedom on university campuses, visit generationliberty.org.au.